be a prophet. You can be all those names. And yes, you are like the word. And this is number three now. And I and I dwell and meaning in addition number three, isn't it? And I also dwell where in the midst of a people of unclean lips. So tell somebody your establishment may have been affected by some factors. <laughs> Hallelujah. It could be Uriah, but Uriah is dead. But we are still seeing the same problem. It could be you. <laughs> because you are undone, which are Kamilika, which are Kamilisha of Suri, established. That one is established. Nabia, it could be your lead. Hallelujah. Najo kuna watu mdomo yao. Yani. Sufufu wa yuko hapa. Hallelujah. Kuna watu mdomo yao. Somebody can come here and bless you so well. Oh, hallelujah. I love you. I love you. I preach or anything. And after blessing you, Mambo na yao natamuka kule hii. Kiamu na nasema, ah. Sina simu. Mbe simu. Mbe simu yako. Mbe simu yako. different people, your lips to be established. Let, let, let me read. And I dwell in the midst of people of unclean lips, for my eyes have seen the king. For my eyes have seen the king, the Lord of us. What does that mean? When you see the king, you realize your mistakes. When you meet Christ, you realize your imperfections. Listen to me. Can we read all of us? So I said, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. What he's saying is this because I've seen the Lord, because I have seen Christ, I have realized my weaknesses. Hallelujah. You are very perfect the way you are because you have not met Christ. You have no mistake when we tell you what you are doing. Because you have not met Christ. But when you meet Christ, hey, hallelujah. When you meet Christ, you realize I am not perfect. I am filthy garments. Hallelujah. I wear filthy garments. My mouth is filthy. Imagine the prophet. We have shown you evidence. He is seen God. He's talking to God in chapter 1, chapter 2. He's seeing visions. But now when he sees God, that's when he realizes he's not complete. Somebody has to be established. What I'm trying to say is that you cannot be established until you meet Christ in person. Hallelujah. And then Christ will help you to see this should not be you. You are this person and you should be this person. Hallelujah. Praising Jesus. Next verse. Next verse. Sikia sasa next verse. Hey. Hapo nukuna mamu. Kwanzia. Oh. After this verse. Can we read? Then one of the seraphim flew to me. Having in his hand a live cord. Which had taken with the dogs from the altar. Now the angel is running towards him. Seraphim is a, a type. Seraphi is a type of an angel, right? He's running towards him. He has a life call. Kamoto. Hallelujah. Kamoto, which had been taken from the altar. Hallelujah. So Kamoto na toka tuko madabao. Hallelujah. And that person madabao. I keep on telling you every time. This is not an altar. Hallelujah. This is not an altar. Watu wa maanda kuhita vitu. Tunaza toka hapa na samba umar mapanga laiki hapa na mziki na hajima za kwa hita fanyi nefe. Takula tunda umbole ya kitu uzuna. Sinikweli? Sinikweli? Yes. Tunaza nisa tuseme sande tukikuja mukae huku madhaba hita kuwa huku. So hita kuwa hita madhaba hita 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 hita
this is just a pulpit. It's just a platform. But you are the altar of God. Amen. Hallelujah. You are the altar of God. Because an altar is a place of sacrifice. Hallelujah. A place of sacrifice. And that's why it says sacrifice your bodies. Living sacrifices to God. So the sacrifice takes place from within you. Hallelujah. You are a place. An altar also is a place where the worshiper and the worshipped meet. So you are the meeting point of God and man. Because they meet in you. If you are not understanding, don't worry. What I'm trying to say is that you are the headquarter of worship. Because worship takes place where? In you. Hallelujah. Pastor John. Unajua kuna mahali kuna kuanga na main altars, junior altars. Senior most altar, small. There's no senior altar, small. You are an altar. An altar is an altar. Hallelujah. An altar is an altar. And it is a man who is of Christ. Then one of them, so kuna kamoto ni nakucha kutuwa kwa mother bow. Hallelujah. Kwa hivyo, now in this dispensation, you are the altar of God. Hallelujah. Na kamoto has to come from within you. They just the same way in John, he says, chapter 7, verse 38 and 9, he says, from that 7, give me, give me John, chapter 7, from verse 30, let's begin from verse 37 to 39, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Can we read? On the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, saying, If anyone thirst, remember, he did not speak. So you should be crying when you are reading those things. Can you? On the last day, that great day of the feast, Jesus stood and cried out, saying, So, Nataka to Ongev If anyone thirst, because he was in anguish, in bitterness. When you are not careful about what you are reading, he cried out. So it was a kind of cry, not just speaking. We want to speak to if anyone thirsts, let him come to me and drink. No. He was speaking in spirits. Hallelujah. Because it was in a spiritual kind of anguishness. Hallelujah. If anyone thirsts, I mean, he looked at people, they were thirsty. But they are not longing to drink from him. From the brook. So he is speaking from emotions. Hallelujah. If anyone thirsts. Hey, maybe he was even shedding tears. Hallelujah. If anyone thirsts. Let him come to me. To me. To me. And drink. Next verse. And drink. He was not speaking the way you are just reading. If anyone thirsts. If anyone thirsts. If anyone thirsts. No. He was not on, in comfort zone. Hallelujah. He who believes in me, because people are not believing in him, and yet he's God. He's the Savior. He who believes in him, as the scripture has said, out of his heart will flow rivers of the living water. It is not in the river. We shall not go in the rivers. The river is from within you and shall flow from your heart. The river of life. What is the river of life? Next verse. The, what is the river of life? Listen to me. Out of uh -huh. but this he spoke concerning the spirit. So the river of life is the Holy Spirit. Oh, yes. Can you tell me he was just speaking? If anyone does, no. That's why he said he cried out. But he spoke concerning the spirit, whom those believing in him will receive. For the Holy Spirit was not yet given because Jesus was not yet glorified. What is that glorified? Crucified. Crucified and resurrected. Hallelujah. Go back to where we were now. Praise King Jesus. Go back to Isaiah. Next verse. And he tied my mouth with it. What? What? A life God. Kamoto. Say what you are going to do. More to keep it. I don't want you to keep it even in Zimbabwe. That we should do more. Hey, we are going to talk about. I like how we are going to 
watu wanaomba na mwaasha kipindi ukazima mtu wako tu oh thank you jesus again nini yeye nataka kunichoma mtomo <laughs> lakini angalia yeye amemguzisha kamoto listen and he touched my mouth with it why the mouth because the previous verse he says my mouth is unclean and I'm among people who are unclean whose lips are unclean so his lips lazima ziende nikaomba kitu and he touched my lip my mouth with it and said behold this has touched your lips your iniquity is taken away and you are seen purged hallelujah your iniquity is taken away and your sins purged sanctified cleansed purified hallelujah somebody for you to be established your sins must be purged and when Christ came he purged away all our sins he purged them he washed us and so we are refusing by our own choices to be clean that's wrong that is wrong yes was that's angalia sasa baada ya kufika hapo niliwaambia unaweza kuwa umeitwa unaweza kuwa umetumwa lakini uja tu na baada ya kufika kile kiwango let us what happens can we read also i had the voice of the lord say whom shall i send hey yani muda yote umekuwa kitoa na bina hujatumwa ay 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 haleluya yani muda yote isaia from chapter 1 umekuwa kitoa nabii Mungu anakuongelesha na hujatumwa but after the hot call has died the mouth he has been purified he has been sanctified the sins are done away with he has been perfected now the lord says whom shall i send and who will go for us who will go for us whom will i send who will go for us then i say here i am send me so he brings now said So Isaiah to my wapi chapter 1 ama chapter 6 Pana mpuzi tu when the day king was yet died I saw the Lord let us see the Lord there is a process Hallelujah there is a process there is a process listen to this here I am am I send me then he realizes kumbe kuna hata nilikuwa nimetumwa lakini siko nimeenda nilikuwa attachment Hallelujah. Nilikuwa attachment. Au maneno pia hapa mko attachment. Au mko college sana university college. Somewhere. Hallelujah. Si mna fiki nani eh. Huma zina machako university. Si uko second year madhabia. Umeanza kufanya projects. Au unaanza third year. Fourth. Third year. Kuna kuanga na projects. Hallelujah wanafanya project especially uh, uh, in engineering uh, and faculties there's na kwaza na sana projects so unapata kuna project unaenda kufanya you will bring a report so si atukienda kufanya tuseme unaenda kutengeneza stima to generate power as your project so ume unatoka kwa nasema unaweza mimi nafanya Kenya power hapana utaenda utanua daimo itaina moyo baiskeli ukuje ufanye project yako pale yesu itafanya na itawaka in the band bitawaka in the end sio kweli lakini it does not mean sasa wewe umekuwa CEO wa KPNC wewe ilikuwa ni project so Isaiah alikuwa ni project but now for him to be sent something has to be done he has to be established may somebody be established this year for you to serve the lord for you to go another level in your ministry in your calling how you pray how you worship how you attend services how you speak how you reason how you talk how you do your things how you relate with people may the heart call touch your mouth to sanctify you to purge your sins to release you to another dimension of perfection in Jesus name that will happen just as it happened with this man when he thought he was okay things were not yet hallelujah things were not yet until here now he says here i am sent me let's finish the next verse and he said God. Now that's what the book of Jude. And he said, 
go and tell these people, keep on hearing, but not understand. Keep on seeing, but not and tell them. Now that we have chosen not to be established, remain unestablished. So he's laughing at them. Keep on seeing, but not seeing. Keep on hearing, but not. So if you are not understanding even the teachings of the Holy Spirit, you are not established. Because to understand is to be established. Remember it says, that which is born, you know, if you have the Spirit of God, you are the Spirit of God. And if you have the Spirit of God, you are the Spirit of God. Because Jesus says, that which is born of Spirit is Spirit. Not is of Spirit. He says, what is born of flesh is flesh. What is born of Spirit is Spirit. So when you are born of Spirit, you are Spirit. So you are not human being. You are Spirit being. Hallelujah. So when I got to meet you, come down. When Adam was born, Zan Zan. Hey, when Adam was born, Hallelujah! In one corner, when Adam was born, in one corner, Shangri La Yesu. You know that one, Adam. Are you serious? This church is blessed. Hallelujah! In fact, come and you water the one, Adam. I could not be tina. I could not weave. I could not chuki. Hallelujah. That is great. That is chairman. We should even dissolve leadership. Because of what we want to do. To some monthly subscription at about 5 percent to suspend at a matagas. What in one row? They just know the right things to be done. What on Angaletwa? He charged an attachment to me upon your gender and see. Everything is to come be good already. So you are enjoying me. <laughs> you are enjoying me. <laughs> Pressing Jesus. And he said, Go and tell these people. Listen to an ampere of Jumbe. Ujumba na umpea sasa ni mkali. Sia kuwa bebeleza. Ni mkali. Hallelujah. May you be established in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Praise King Jesus. Somebody stand up for the glory of the Lord. I want to, unapos mama tu, mali tu lipo mali. Ushikuru tu mungu. Na we mwenye watu, udeclare to an establishment. Kwa sabu, unajua the weak point yako. Isaiah imechukua muda kuelewa kumbe kumaanisha Isaiah alikuwa anafikiria ni Uzia alikuwa anazuia Uzia alikuwa anazuia yuko ana kuona viwango vingine lakini akarealize kumbe ni yeye mwenyewe alikuwa shida he was not established now also people around them just look at the people around you and also you around yourself and just speak establishment just speak establishment and just make a declaration like a person who is established. Make a declaration like a man who is established and who is longing to be established in the name of our Lord Jesus. <laughs> Father, I've learned that I can be a pastor. I can be a prophet like Isaiah, yet I'm not established. I can be prophesying like, a, like, 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 like Isaiah, yet I still have a filthy mouth that needs a hot call. Father, I declare, may you establish me. May you establish me. Release your hot call on my mouth, on my lips. The Lord from within me, I may serve you in the splendor of your power, in the splendor of your holiness. The Lord, the establishment may not be a bad venture, but it may be an efficacy of your glory in me. In the name of our Lord Jesus. I glorify you, Lord, that my preaching will not be a preaching, but it shall be a communication that is more than a preaching because it is sourced by the Holy Spirit. It is sourced by Christ. Christ who establishes. May this preaching establish you.
your people. May this teaching establish your people. May my prayer establish your people. May my word establish your people. I speak establishment. Establishment. Establishment in marriage. Establishment in families. Establishment in education. Establishment in the works of our hands. In the name of our Lord Jesus. I glorify you, Jesus. Somebody be established. Somebody be established. You shall declare things and they will be established. In the name of our Lord Jesus.
in the name of our Lord Jesus. The problem with Isaiah was his mouth. Maybe your problem is the stomach. Maybe your problem is your legs. Maybe your problem is your mind. Maybe your problem is your eyes. Maybe your problem is also mouth. I declare, may the hot call come on somebody here. Because when the hot call touches our mouth, they will purge away all sins, all impurities, all imperfections, and they will empower us for the glory of the Lord. For the glory of the Lord. May the hot call come and descend and rest upon somebody in the name of our Lord Jesus. In the name of our Lord Jesus. In the name of our Lord Jesus. May the hot call be sent to somebody here, to your mouth, to your hands, to your heart, to your soul, to your body, to perfect you and to make you a glorious minister of the gospel of Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. Somebody lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Close your eyes, open your mouth to the Lord, and let the hot call have a fellowship with you. Let the Holy Spirit have a fellowship with you. Let the power of the Holy Ghost be that call we are talking about. Because the hot call here is the Holy Spirit, is the power of the Spirit, is the grace to take you to another dimension. In the name of our Lord Jesus. Establishment. Establishment. May somebody, may you be established. May you be established. May you be established. I can't hear somebody declaring things here. I can't hear somebody declaring things here. When we read, we found that Jesus cried in speaking those words. Let your speech, your speech on these words be of another dimension. Establishment, 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 establishment. Whom shall I send? God is asking even right now. God is asking even right now. Whom shall I send? Why would God ask this and yet Isaiah was already a prophet? Why? Why was there the need for God to ask, whom shall I send? And yet Pastor Chuck is already here. And yet Pastor Day is already here. God is still asking, whom shall I send? He is judging our hearts. He is judging our intents. And he's ready to send somebody. He's ready to make somebody a mouthpiece of God. In the name of our Lord Jesus. In the name of our Lord Jesus. For me to be a pastor here does not prevent God from having a contact on one on one with you. In the name of our Lord Jesus.
the glory of the Lord. For the glory of the Lord. For the glory of the Lord. Oh Jesus. Oh my Lord. Oh Jesus. Isaiah was a prophet. But he needed a touch. He needed another touch. But I need another touch. That will now perfect me the most. Because when I think I am okay. I have learned from Isaiah. He was still of the need. He was still to be perfected the most.